right, the next section on laws of logarithms, there's pretty much three basic laws of logarithms that we can use, and we use a lot for solving equations that, until we had logarithms, we couldn't solve some equations um, that dealt with variables in the exponents. And logarithm rules are based on the rules of exponents in regular algebra. For example, if you're multiplying y squared times y to the third, your rule is to add the exponent so you get y to the fifth. And all of these rules, this is the rule for adding exponents. Um, this is a rule for if I had an expression as a division problem. And then the rule for if you have an exponent base to a power, you multiply the powers. So with that in mind, I'm going to show you how to use some of these log rules with basic examples. So, um, for example, suppose I had um, log base 2 of the number 12. Well, I could rewrite that. I have a lot of choices. I could think of some multiples of 12. And you know that 12 could be written as 2 times 6. Now do you see how it's approaching what this law might look like? Do you know how I could rewrite this as the sum of two logarithms? I bet you do. Log base 2, 2 plus log base 2 of 6. And that becomes another way to write that. Somebody else might say, hey, 12 doesn't have to be 2 times 6. What about 3 times 4? I could write log base 2, 3 times 4. And then I could write log base 2, 3 plus log base 2, 4. Now, both of these ways of writing, um, rewriting the log base 2 of 12 have some interesting situations that you can work with. And so I'd like to, to do one more step of those um, and show you what I'm talking about. For example, from the last section, you might remember that whenever you have a log to a base and this value part both have the same number, do you remember what that answer is? Log base 2, 2? It's 1, right? So this problem, I'm closer to solving it by calling that. So now I'm going to write it 1 plus log base 2, 6. Now, I could rewrite the 6 if I wanted using the same, same method, 2 times 3. And so then I have 1 plus log base 2. Whoops, can't see that one, can you? Here, let's rewrite that. So 1 plus log base 2, 6. Now, I could rewrite that again by saying 1 plus log base 2, 2 times 3. Oh boy. What about that? 1 plus log base 2, 2 plus log base 2, 3. Oh, what about that? 1 again, so 1 plus 1, so now I have 2 plus log base 2, 3. And log base 2, 3, we're kind of stuck with that. We can't break that up anymore. Um, so we would have to leave it like that. You will learn some other methods moving on from all right, I left this one here because this also has some interesting uh, repercussions using the log rules. In fact, I could use this log rule here. The first part I'm going to leave as is, log base 2, 3. But this one could be written as log base 2, 2 squared. How did I get 2 squared? It's another form of 4, right? And then this exponent, what can I do with the exponent? write it in the front. So I have log base 2, 3 plus 2 times log base 2, 2. But then again, what do we know about that? Remember from the last section? You see that? In the last section? That becomes a 1. So this whole thing, I'll write it up here, becomes log base 2, 3 plus 2 times 1, or plus 2. So the log rules really help us simplify problems, and you're going to encounter um, 
lots of different situations using the log rule. So basically I've used that rule and a combination of the other two. Let me get another example. All right, so I've got two examples here to show you how to use these log rules for maneuvering stuff. The first thing, since I have two values here, just like M and N, I'm going to separate it. So I'm going to write log base 3 C to the third plus log base 3 D to the fourth. I use the separation rule. Now I'm going to use the exponent rule. Where could I put that 3? Out in front. So 3 log base 3 C plus 4 log base 3 D. And that is simplified as much as it can. Alright, let's watch this one. I got a combination of things. Now, you could bring the 3 out front first, if you wanted, or you could put the 3 on each one of those as the exponent first. I'm going to bring it out, out front, so I'm going to do 3 log base 2 root C over D. Do you know what exponent you could use if you didn't want to use a root C? How about 3 log base 2 C to the 1 half D? Now, this is a division, so I'm going to separate. Now, the problem is that 3 has to go with each part. Or, you can put the 3 outside of a bracket and now write log base 2 C to the 1 half minus log base 2 D. And I can distribute that 3 when I'm done. This 1 half can come out front. So now I have 3. Whoops. I have to put the half out front. 1 half log base 2c minus log base 2d. Now this 3 I can multiply through. Do I have room there? All right. So we'll go 3 over 2 log base 2c minus 3 log base 2d. So there's how to use the log rules to maneuver stuff. The homework assignment will give you lots of practice on this. Make sure you check your answers as you go so you can pick up on any little mistakes that you might happen to be making.